to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Saturday. <clears throat> I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. We are getting a very delightful treat with the weather this weekend. It is very much cooperating. Hopefully you've been able to enjoy it. If not, don't even worry. It's all good. Better days are coming also. Uh, this month only lime oil is the free product of the month from doTERRA. Um, just a quick thing about lime oil, the emotional balance when using aromatically or topically uh, can get you from faint to enlivened. So if you're looking to be enlivened, lime oil, that's the way to go. Um, another quick update, I am in the, I am just about actually to launch a weight loss course for beginners that I have put together. Uh, if you or somebody you know of is interested in getting early bird access, definitely drop me a comment. Now's the time, there's tons of cool stuff to get to, that comes along with that. We'll get you rocking and rolling. Um, so let's get right into today's topic. What I got for you today is actually National Scream Day. Ah, right, let it out all the time. And this is actually, uh, it's a day of, uh, to raise awareness for uh, April is actually Stress Awareness Month. So uh, this is just another day that um, you know we're we're raising awareness for stress help, right? Things that um, that you can do, or and that's where I wanted to come in. Sort of some things that I do, right, on a daily basis um, to help me sort of calm down, right, relieve some of the anxiety, the um, you know the <clears throat> unwelcome thoughts that come in uh, every once in a while. It happens, right? So I got some tips for you that help me want to share them with you. Hopefully they help you too. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, scream. Today's scream day. Scream. Yeah! Rock on, dude. I mean, this is, this is huge uh, in the sense of, you know, when you're, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I love sports, right? So when you're talking about a sporting event, there is, you know, 20, 30,000 <laughs> people over there that are screaming their heads off on a day, uh, you know, for the whole time. And, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> Uh, being at a sporting event, you know, cheering on your team can be super stressful, super, uh, you know, anxiety coming out of there, especially, in, you know, if it's a tight game, oh man, that's, you really, when you're watching sports, you really want your team to be winning by a lot always, <laughs> you know, if it's any other way than that, it, uh, you know, uh, thoughts start creeping up in your mind and it can be very much, uh, <laughs> You know, not a fun event. I remember one of the guys at work talking to me um, a few years ago. The pa the uh, New England Patriots they won the Super Bowl and they beat the Atlanta Falcons. And um, I believe at halftime, or, or maybe even the third quarter, I think it was the third quarter, uh, just a little bit of time left. Atlanta was up twenty eight to three. Now New England ended up coming back and winning that game. But I talked to one of the New England fans at work the next day, and he said that he was super stressed out the whole game. He's like, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm too old for this. My heart can't handle this anymore. I need my team to be winning by a lot. And I love this one because, you know, screaming normally happens at sporting events, concerts, right? Things outdoor. But, you know, screaming is a great way to, you know, just sort of, uh, you know, relieve some of that tension that you have, right? Grab a pillow, put it in front of your face and just let it howl. Um, you know, go outside. I don't suggest doing it inside unless you're not really screaming at the top of your lungs. Simply because, you know, depending on where you live, right? We live in an apartment building. I'm sure that some people would have a problem with that. But even at home, right? If you live in a house or whatever, your family members and or neighbors might, uh, you know, start thinking that stuff is wrong. So, you know, pick your moments, but definitely let out a good scream. What that does is it just, it actually releases endorphins uh, in your in your brain that are the feel good chemicals and um, you know it, it actually sort of you know when you're when when you scream you can you can just feel yourself sort of letting loose right um, when you're really pent up aggression and you've got a lot going on and you just let out a real good howl right you know it right when you're when you're just reach your breaking point and you just lose it right you get you do feel a little bit better. Uh, after the fact, as much as you shouldn't really do that to people, right? It happens. People push you all, uh, all the time. Um, but that's, like I said, tip number one here on Scream Day, let out a good howl. Just make sure you pick your time and or your place. Number two, find your happy place. 
This one is huge. I actually, when I was thinking about this one, I, I remembered a scene from Happy Gilmore where, um, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen Happy Gilmore or not, but the movie is uh, Adam Sandler, he plays golf. And um, he's trying out for hockey, but he doesn't end up making the hockey team. And they, they decide to put him in golf and, well, you know. Um, and one of the things that uh, he was taught when he's golfing, ha um, Adam Sandler, is that to find a happy place, right? Go to your happy place and that way you can calm down and you can, you know, everything sort of... Um, you know, it, it, it flows better, right? In your happy place, things are always happy, right? Things are always going for you. Things are never against you, right? Everything is always awesome, no matter what. And even the bad things are good because they turn out to be good things. So, you know, finding a happy place, a place that you can sort of get away from, you know, the daily hustle and bustle of life, right? We get, we're very busy people all the time. We have a, a lot of stuff going on. We're very on the go um, creatures at this moment in time, right? So, in, in, you know, finding a place that you can just go to and relax, right? Not have to think about too much, not have to worry really about anything, um, it's going to be huge. I, I love doing this one. And, and like I said, I just think of the movie Happy Gilmore. And if you see, if you haven't seen it, I definitely suggest just YouTube Happy Gilmore Happy Place because it's funny. And, um, you know, it's it's cool. that And I, and I like it too because in a situation where, you know, there's pent up aggression and, you're no, you know, things aren't really going your way and, you know, stuff, you want stuff to be better, right? Finding your happy place, just closing your eyes. Being able to go into a happy place, right, a, a, a driftful or a oasis, I guess, if you will. I think I said that right. Um, but, you know, just a place that's not here, something that you can go and, you know, immediately snap yourself out of whatever down and draining mood you're in and get yourself back into a happy, positive mood. Because we want to think positive all the time. We don't want to think negative. When you start thinking negative, negative things start happening to you. So think positive. Positive things will start happening to you. Find your happy place. And or Google Happy Gilmore. <laughs> That's funny. Um, number three, get some fresh air. Right? This one is huge because um, th this one is actually really more geared towards when you're, when you're pent up, right? And you're, um, you know, you're in the same place for a long period of time. And, you know, you're getting really hot and really irritated, right? You've got too many clothes on maybe or stuff's not really going your way and you're getting kind of irritated. Fresh air is the, the, you know, one of the quickest ways um, to help. What is it? It's, uh, you could be experiencing some sort of panic attack, right? So, you know, that's where you're, um, you're, you're, you stop really, you, you know, your breath starts coming really heavy, right? <laughs> and you start wheezing and you can't really think straight and everything is, you know, snowballing out of control and all sorts of, you know, bad stuff is happening to you. And that's why get outside, get some fresh air, right? In through your nose, out through your mouth, right? Let mother earth, um, mother nature really just take care of your senses. Um, breathe in that fresh air uh, and, and really make it so that uh, or really just, you know, feel the moment, right? Where you're, um, where you're thinking, you know, everything is really going against me, but this is, you know, at least outside in the fresh air, right? With the nice wind breezing by myself, by my head, you know, through my hair, the nice, you're feeling your nose bristles going along, right? All sorts of stuff is happening. You, for, you tend to forget right in that moment, right? What was, what was going on? Um, what is going on and um, you know it, it, it's just a nice thing to just get change of scenery right have a, a change of scenery so that you're not always so that you're not right in the same place that's been giving you those uh, sort of panic attacks uh, if you will um, at that current moment get some fresh air you know go for a walk if you have to around the block um, you know, do, uh, do, do, do what you can. And, um, I, I, I promise you getting outside, especially, you know, on a day like we have today where the sun is shining and, you know, it's not, too, it's not too, it's not too hot, but it's not too cold, right? It's kind of at that perfect temperature. It really, you know, sink your worries away, I guess, if you will. So, 
Today is National Scream Day, which is a day to raise awareness on um, helping with stress and anxiety. Number one, way, so today I have some ways to help you instantly calm down. Number one, scream, get it all out. Uh, scream, what's the song? Scream and shout and let it out. Uh, number two, find your happy place, right? Place not here <laughs> normally if you need to. Number three, get some fresh air. Let mother nature help you out. Number four, count backwards from 10. This one is huge because we don't actually think about this being, you know, some way to calm down, but I actually like this in terms of taking your mind off of what's going on right at that current moment. Um, you know, if you're, uh, if you're, um, you know, really, you got lots of thoughts going on in your head and you've got lots of, you know, pent up aggression and you can't really channel your focus and you don't really know what's going on. You know, you start counting backwards from 10, right? It's, it's going to, it's going to do a very good job of taking your mind off of, uh, you know, what's going on in, in your current or at the current moment right then because it does it takes a little bit of effort to realize what number comes after the next one as easy as it is to count to 10 right counting backwards from 10 is gonna is a, is a little bit more difficult and but or sorry not and but what i'm trying to get at more than anything is um you know, it's gonna it's gonna distract you. It's gonna take your focus away from what's going on right at that current moment. And maybe, maybe, maybe not. You're about to say or do something that you could regret later, right? Count backwards from ten. Shift your focus. Do you know? Understand that what you're about to encounter on right now may or may not be good for you. So count backwards from ten. Distract yourself. I promise it'll help. And if it doesn't, definitely come back and let me know how counting backwards from ten didn't do anything to take your mind off of the current situation. Number five, a hand massage. Give yourself a hand massage, right? I love this one because I don't know if you're familiar at all with reflexology, um, but all of your organs are connected through the bottoms of your feet, your hands, your paw, or no, your whole hand, and your ears, right? So you. That's where you, you, you definitely see, you know, Wusa. Uh, what's that movie? Men, Men in Black? No, not Men in Black. What's the movie? Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. It's not Bad Boys. That's what it is. Uh, you know, his therapist tells him Wusa, right? Like that, right? Where you, where you uh, massage the back of the ears. And I love that because that's a, it's, it, it's a reflexology point. Um, and so all of your organs are connected through your ears, your hands, and your bottoms of your feet. Now, in a certain situations, it's not always ideal to be rubbing the bottoms of your feet. Maybe, maybe you can rub the back of your ear and make your give yourself a nice little massage that way. But one of the easiest, you know, best ways that you can do um, that that you can uh, ensure that you're calming your whole body down is giving yourself a hand massage, right? Both hands. But think of, think of your body, right? This is your whole body on either side, just like that. So one hand has your whole left side, right? The other hand has your whole right side. And those are your organs in your body. So, you know, giving yourself a nice hand massage. You can also tell, actually, one of the things that I love more than anything about reflexology, just kind of off topic here. Um, I remember one time I had, um, I had a, a pain on the bottom of my foot. And I couldn't really figure out what was going on, so I put uh, I put some oils on it to help the, that help with pain and uh, inflammation, discomfort, stuff like that. And I mean, it helped, right? But it wasn't really a help. I mean, it was you know it it, it man. So then I, I talked to Tina about it, and she was like, "Well, why don't you find the foot the the part on your foot that's connected to, or find what part on the bottom of your foot that hurts." that's connected to your body. Well, it turned out to be my lungs that were that, that was the part of my foot that was hurting. So I put on a, a, an oil that helps with respiratory issues and boom, almost instantly my foot started feeling better. And I was like, wow, that is huge. So if you ever need uh, you know, to know why reflexology, I will tell you all the time. And I love that story because it, it's so powerful. Um, you know, the, the power of our body, right? So hand massage, I promise you that, you know, you will, you will definitely start to feel yourself calming down. And, um, if there's a particular area on your body that is sore, uh, a, you know, a hand massage will definitely help it out. 
and um, help you to sort of relax just in that moment. Number six, 30 second dance party, right? This is, <laughs> hey, all right, woo, 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 right? We're dancing because not a lot of times can you be, you know, <laughs> in, in a in a dis, in a discouraged mood or you know upset at the world or you know problems that are going on in your life while you're dancing <laughs> right and this is what we do more than anything and, and I like this one too because you know we sit a lot throughout the day right don't you know follow me for a second here right if we're sleeping we're laying then we sit while we drive to work. Then if you work at a desk job, right, you sit all day while you're at work, unless you're consciously getting up. Then you sit on your way home in the car while you're driving. Then you come home and you sit uh, on the couch watching TV. Then you're sitting at the dinner table while you're eating dinner, right? Then you go to bed where you're laying again. So that's where I talk, you know, that if, if you followed me at all right there, that's a lot of sitting that we're doing. And we as people are not designed to be sitting that much. Um, so that's where I love just, you know, every once in a while, 30 second dance party, just get up out of your chair, dance around for 30 seconds, right? If you can't do 30 seconds, cause you, you know, you're, you're not that good of shape, do you know, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, right? Whatever you can do, there's not a number behind it. But I, I like the 30 seconds because after, you know, after a certain amount of time, your brain starts to forget what you were, you know, um, what was going on beforehand. Now you're dancing, right? Now your brain's in this mode, dancing. Maybe you're starting to think of music that you can dance to, right? That, that uh, first song that you remember or the, the first time you had a, uh, you know, an a, a, uh, uh, embarrassing experience, right? Definitely those songs come down. Or the song that you know more than anything. I've got a few songs that I can sing all the time, right? So a song that you know more than anything will come back more often than not. So I like this one. 30 second dance party. Again, this is another way to just distract yourself from, you know, what's going on <clears throat> at that current moment. Uh, and, and, you know, give yourself some time to assess the situation and then really, uh, you know, a, allow for a plan of attack. And uh, if, if this is something that you need to uh, uh, keep going for, I guess, if we will, for lack of a better term. My last tip more than anything is essential oils. I love essential oils, especially for their way to um, to help with the mood. Um, a, a blend of oils called Purify. I use this one for a specific reason because when we, you know, are amped up and there's a lot going on in our lives, we tend to have some unpure thoughts, right? We tend to, you know, we let negativity sort of rule our day. We let we we're not really thinking about the positivity. We're not caring about the positive, right? So I love Purify to sort of help to alter your thought process in a way, um, you know, allow for pure thoughts, uh, clear, um, clear your, your, your thinking process and, um, you know, get, get away from what, uh, what, what's actually boggling you down. Uh, another blend that I have here is Serenity. Serenity is the restful blend from doTERRA. And I like this one because, um, you know, when we are amped up and there's a lot going on and, you know, emotions are really running high and, you know, everything's kind of coming at you all at once, the restful blend, man, that's, that's where you're at. Uh, you know, and you need to just sort of calm down, you know, create a relaxing environment for you. Um, something that's perfect for, you know, promoting relaxation, right? Uh, help you to get those, like, again, those, those thoughts out of your mind and um, allow you to just see a clearer picture, right? When we're amped up, we're not thinking properly. Definitely not. I, I know I am. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm, uh, I'm, I'm odd like that, but for me, when I'm all amped up, I'm not thinking properly, and I'm definitely saying and or doing things that I'm probably going to regret later. So, you know, I, 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 a time that you can create, a, you know, a relaxing environment, really re um, promote restfulness, right? I, that's, uh, that's a good one for you right there. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. I know I had some fun making it. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.